Hey guys, um, I haven't done a video in a little while on this channel, but, uh, today's a little different, and I'm not really in the best, um, condition to be really talking. I've got a kind of, uh, something with my, uh, tongue that's kind of sore, and, but anyway, um, in this video, I wanted to raise, raise awareness for, um, uh, how rolling is like completely and utterly um unviable um my my thread i made uh it just says rolling slash jumping that's going to be changed um basically like the idea is rolling needs to be as about as useful as strafing is and um pretty much nobody rolls right now um in in the midst of a gun battle because it's just too um, risky, you know, it's too slow, um, you're a way more vulnerable target, uh, you're sacrificing, um, shooting for, uh, evading gunfire, which strafing accomplishes both by moving left and right, and, um, overall, uh, is making you a harder target in the sense that, like, um, you're moving back and forth, and you, you can keep shooting. But rolling, you sacrifice that. You sacrifice um, shooting to try and evade the, you know, gunfire. Pretty much the only, the only use um, rolling really has is for melee. Um, you, you don't have any use for it in blind against blind fire. No use against um, regular shooting. I mean... When the intended purpose of the of the mechanic is to evade gunfire, and it's not doing its job, um, they've they didn't speed it up um, since the summer beta, despite the core gameplay changes they made to the game. Um, nor did they consider get, making a booster for it to make it better, like there is for strafing and um, other things such as that. But uh. For the most part, what I want to do, guys, is I want to make rolling better. And part of that, part of that, uh, helps against, well, the Gmail, which everybody is all over again. Oh my god, the Gmail! Oh! Oh my god! It's still good! Well, you know what? The reason why it's still freaking good is because you have nothing to, um really uh, defend yourself against it like strafing is like your only option and then from then from there on it's just about who sees who first um, if you could roll and you know maybe get away on time to safe uh, to safety and then be able to um, kill the guy then you wouldn't have nearly as many uh, deaths incurred from the Gmail but the main thing is the Gmail guy sees you from far away and you decide to roll and there's literally no th nothing around you they can they can easily with the aim assist it currently has and stuff like that they can easily easily just you know track you and gun you down before you even finish the roll before you complete the roll um not only that but i would also like to see um getting into cover sped up because right now it's also too slow um these are things that are odd because other parts of the multiplayer are fast, like um, getting jumping onto cover is fast. Um, see, like right there, jumping onto cover is fast. Um, climbing is slow, but that makes sense. But like rolling, it's just like you know how sprint is fast, how um, jumping isn't you know like isn't totally smooth. How um, the you know a lot of the it's just really weird how like a lot of the animations in the multiplayer are way faster than they were in Uncharted 2, but rolling has largely remained the same speed. Um, when this is a much faster paced game compared to Uncharted 2, which just raises more questions like, why didn't they speed up the ro rolling animation? Like, at this point, it's like, who cares about smoothness of the roll? Um, I mean, it's not gonna get a super duper fast, like, godlike speed increase, but um, just like a slight increase in speed of the overall animation, including how long it takes to finish the animation, like the end lag. Because a lot of the time, 
you'll go into the roll, and before you even start the roll, you'll die. Um, I've experienced that plenty of times. Um, anytime I decide to roll um, to the right to reload and stuff like that, if you could actually mix it up between strafing and rolling, um, gunfights would be way more exciting because this is a third-person shooter, guys. This isn't a first-person shooter. If it was a first-person shooter, strafing being the end-all, be-all would make sense. But this is a third-person shooter. Strafing being the end-all, be-all doesn't make any sense. You have these other options at your disposal that the team has given you, and yet they're not as good as strafing. And it just this doesn't make any sense. Um, it really doesn't. Uh, you know, um... I don't know how else I can argue this, um, any more than rolling is unviable, this is a third person shooter, it should be more viable, um, strafing shouldn't be the end all be all, it'll help against, um, every weapon in the game, in every, in almost every situation and encounter, um, you know, even if there's like barely any cover around, being able to roll, like, at a slightly faster pace would still help you, um, you know, make it tricky, for the other guy to kill you, um, you know, besides just strafing left and right, left and right. Um, so all it boils down to is what I want to see happen is rolling become viable. Rolling being an option for all players to use at all times, whenever they can, whenever it's possible, whenever it's safe to, and also so that getting into cover is safer, so people use cover a little bit more, so it's not like you're, you know, um, stuck in an animation for eons, which is the main, which is one of the main issues with getting into cover. Um, you're stuck in an animation for eons, and you, you know, just creates more lag. Um, just like the roll has a ton of lag on it, takes forever to complete, and is slower than molasses, and needs to be slightly sped up. Um, slightly, I don't know what slightly would involve because we don't have the, the, the frame data of the roll and we do not have um, how long the roll lasts. But please support my thread. Um, this is just a quick summary of what uh, it's about. Later.